Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming, or should I say welcome back. It's been a little while, hasn't it, after my brief resurgence, and the reasons for that being I've recently, or we've recently, moved house. Somewhere bigger, I've bought a place which is wonderful, and excitingly, that new place has a study in it. It was part of the reason for moving, so that I had a place dedicated to writing that hadn't been taken over by a nursery. And now that I've got that again, uh, I can actually start recording videos indoors, uh, although I'm quite enjoying these walkabout videos. Things aren't all unpacked yet, hence why this video is coming from the pathway missing poster. Uh, yes, I've already started my uh, serial killing. Now, one other thing, I have recently been committed to a project that I can't tell you about. It's very exciting, it's taking up an awful lot of my time, uh, but I think you will be very pleased when I can start revealing details. Now, with all that said, before the end of the new year, let's cover a, another one of these Q&A questions, these Ask Me Anything questions. Jeeves Osiris asked, What do I think of the Vampire Clan novel series? Do I recommend them? Do they assist the, my roleplay in any way? Or have they assisted my roleplaying in any way? Have they given me any inspiration? Now, there's a lot of Vampire the Masquerade novels. There's obviously, as he says, the clan novel series, uh, which covers every single one of the 13, the big 13 clans in the Masquerade era. There's also the Dark Ages clan novel series, uh, which does the same thing, but in the late 12th century through to mid 13th century. We also have some clan-specific trilogies, such as the La Sombra trilogy, I believe there's a Tremere trilogy, a Slave Ring trilogy, which is uh, predominantly focused around Theo Bell in the Victorian era. So, there's a lot of vampire novels and many others besides, some of which are scarcely referenced, some of which very uh, infrequently actually refer to the lore of vampire and are more just vampire stories which tend to have the World of Darkness logo stamped on the front, but those are the main ones, the ones I've just discussed. Are they any good? Well, as with any series that extends to 13 books in length, it's hit and miss, I'll be honest. I enjoy a great many of them. There are others, the writing styles of which, or the protagonists of which, I don't find terribly appealing. And I guess the issue with the Masquerade series is the books are very much interlinked. As with the a Song of Ice and Fire series, the books are actually split up between chapters from different uh, narrator viewpoints. So you might have Calibros in one part of a Malkavian novel, Anatole, uh, Lucita, Victoria Ash, various other focal point vampire characters. They're not all necessarily of the clan that the book is focusing on, but the book is predominantly focusing on the activities of that clan. It's just how the narrators are viewing them or interacting with them. That's what I'd say, anyway. Uh, the Dark Ages novels are much better. I prefer the Dark Ages novels. I find them almost uniformly strong. And in answer to your question, did they inspire my play? Absolutely. There is a ton of material, especially, and I'm going to call this one out in particular and recommend you seek it out. In Dark Ages clan novel Setite by Kathleen Ryan, the protagonist, Anka Sonatan, takes a ship full of Cainites from uh, Constantinople, if I recall, all the way along the Mediterranean and stops off at various domains along the way. We get to basically see a motley coterie comprised of various clans stopping off in various domains of various sort of colour and structure. And I think that novel is a fantastic road trip novel. I've taken so much from it for my own chronicles, based on the fact that, well, I think it was my first introduction to a vampire game or a vampire story on the road, not just set in one place. And as you probably know from my Dark Ages chronicles, I do like a game, and Pathfinder, I do like a game that interacts with lots of locations, lots of NPCs and the like, and that book is particularly strong for it. Clan novel Cappadocian for the Dark Ages is very good in terms of meta plot really rich, dripping with it. 
as is Ventru and Zimitsi. Uh, the Masquerade Clan novel that I enjoy the most is probably Giovanni because it really exposes how the clan works both from the necromancer angle and the I guess these days stereotypical angle of a mafioso mafiosi if you prefer uh, yeah so do I recommend them holistically no but to get into the masquerade novels I recommend starting at the start and working your way through because they are very much linear or linked uh, one following the other, whereas the Dark Ages novels I think you can pick up and drop and there's some very very good Dark Ages kind of novels. Tremere is brilliant as well to show you how the Tremere work in the Dark Ages. It offers a somewhat unique insight into that. So there you go. That is my response to your question, Jeeves Osiris. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos and Happy New Year.